Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I'm sure the ones that recently watched a couple of my videos have seen that I'm starting to get into crypto mining. It's not really the best time to get into crypto mining, some would say. I'd say it's a perfect time to still get into crypto mining if you haven't started yet. Especially now, some of the GPUs will drop in prices quite substantially now. And it's a good idea to get uh, passive income additional passive income so last week I was quite excited I was informed that there is some stock available and I got this one you can see it's a 3060 Ti and I was very excited to get the delivery everything and then I thought maybe just find out if this is one of the L HR cards, low hash rate cards. And I contacted the supplier and asked him, does he know if it's a low hash rate card? <laughs> he said, he has no idea. So I went ahead and I opened the box. I plugged in the GPU into my test bench and executed GPU Z. Now for those of you who don't know, GPU Z is a software program that gives you additional details on your card. So it would tell you what type of memory it has. Some have Samsung memory, some have Micron memory, some have Hynix memory. And then it also gives you the details if it is a GD, GDDR6 or maybe GDDR6X or the GDDR5 or 5X. Those are generally the things that you use uh, GPU Z for. Now in my case I wanted to see what the release date was on this card. Because I could not see anything on the box and I couldn't see anything on the card if it is a low hash rate card. So running GPU Z, I saw that the release date was 18 May 2021. And then I went online and searched for when did they release low hash rate 3060 Ti cards because previously the 3060 Ti did not have any issue it's not like the 3060s which you had a workaround for that you could still get the maximum hashes out of it if you do a couple of ticks because I currently have a 3060 Ti which was released in December 2020 and that one doesn't have any issues it's running at 60 mega hashes the whole time and no issues it's only pulling uh, 119 watts on the car so also no complaints there so I thought as soon as I saw this 3060 Ti become available and the price was relatively good I immediately bought it or ordered it, ordered it online I received it on Tuesday and then the thoughts kept into my mind is this a low hash rate car because Previously there was no stock of this nowhere and now all of a sudden stock is starting to pop up. So on the box I did not look properly I saw in the end because if you look over here on the specific underneath the card just get that in the camera you see over there that's low hash rate. So they don't put it on, on the front, like on the display of the box, where most people would see it easily. They put it actually exactly on the side which most people would not look at on the display. It's underneath the box. I don't know if all the cards are marked underneath, but this specific one, the specific Gigabyte 3060 Ti, it's marked underneath the box with LHR. Now I did not see that before I opened the card. And, pulled it out and plugged in GPU Z and saw that it is very likely low hash rate anyway because of the release date. So unfortunately I have to take this card now back to the place that I bought it from. I decided I'll take it back to them myself rather than trying to send it with a courier that might damage it. You never know because I actually want to get a refund on this card. Now Unfortunately, I had to open the box 
and plug the card in to see what happens. So if it was still 100% sealed, then there would be no issue. You just get your refund and that's it. The specific company offers you seven days. I informed them of the fact that I thought it is a low hash rate actually on day one. So now I'm gonna go see if I get my full return on my money or if there is a penalty fee for opening the anti-static bag. Because obviously if you want to get a GPU-Z rating on the card or GPU-Z reading on a card, you have to take it out of the anti-static bag and plug it in. Now I did not spend days on this card. I just spent a couple of minutes with this card plugged in, so maybe they'll be nice. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I'm on my way now to go and return the card and I'll update you in a future video. Remember to subscribe down below, like the video. I'll update you in a future video of what the return or what the outcome is and if they have a good returns policy or not so much. I normally prefer to use take a lot for these type of transactions but they don't have any of these GPUs available and the reason why I prefer to normally use them is because they have a very good return policy. I've returned a couple of items I weren't happy with in the past and I've had absolutely zero issues with them. So hopefully with this return I also have zero issues. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.